Today I'm going to show you just how quickly you can get started with Oracle SQL Developer and I'm going to time the process and see if we can do it under five minutes where you can connect to Oracle. So let's start the countdown. First you want to Google Oracle SQL Developer. Hopefully it comes back as hit number one. This is our OTN page. Proceed to the Downloads tab. You'll need an Oracle Technology Network account. You'll need to accept the agreement. If you don't already have an account, um, that might push this up to about seven minutes instead of five. Accounts are free. You'll need to ascertain your operating system. So uh, are you Windows? Are you OS X? Are you Unix or Linux? If you're Windows and you're okay running 32-bit, you can download this version. It includes the Java Development Toolkit. If you're 64-bit and you want to run 64-bit, you'll need to download the Java SDK separately. <clears throat> so we're doing our download now. I've got a fairly speedy connection, so you probably won't have to wait too long. While that's downloading, let me just talk you through uh, the process. We're not downloading an installer. This is just an archive with all the software included that you need to run. So it's got the connectivity drivers built in via JDBC. There's no Oracle client that you need to download and install and set up. There is no uh, installer, which I've mentioned, so that means uh, there's no Windows uh, update process and you don't have to worry about flooding Windows registry with all of these install records that need cleaned up. And hopefully it means you won't need an administrator um, to install the tool on your desktop. Now, I don't want you to circumvent your desktop um, corporate policies. But since it is just an archive, if you have the ability to download a file, you have the ability to install and run SQL Developer. If you downloaded the version that does not include the Java uh, Development Toolkit, you'll need to download that separately, which I mentioned previously, and you'll need to know the directory to the java.exe, so when you launch SQL Developer, it'll prompt you for that. Since we're downloading a self-contained uh, version of SQL Developer, all I have to do is extract this to a directory and start the exe and it knows where the jdk is or it knows where the java engine is okay so let's open that and let's extract all of this oh someplace simple i can blow it away later again i've got a pretty fast machine um I recommend that you have probably at least two gigabytes uh, of RAM on your machine. That's pretty much the, the starting rate for machines these days. All right, so it's extracted. Let's see if we can uh, find that guy. Downloads, SQL Dev Test. All right, so here's the exe, and you just double click that. That will launch the tool. It will start up. Now, if you've never installed this tool before, uh, you'll have a blank connection screen over here. So you won't have this history to come back to. Um, if you have an Oracle client already installed, where you were using some other tools that use that, you can switch this connection type to TNS and then access the directory like so. Um, I prefer the basic connectivity, which just requires that you have the location of the server and the name of the service or the SID. And of course, before you actually get started on any of this, you'll need to work with your DBA to get your username and password. And once you have your username and password and you have the tool installed and running, you're able to come in and browse your tables and do all that good stuff.
and of course see your data. So let's see, we are going to test. Okay, so all of that plus me doing a lot of unnecessary talking in under five minutes.